Wow! Welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and in today's class, we have a very fun challenge. But before we go to today's class, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. What that does, YouTube uses this algorithm to notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you are about to watch right now. Sit back and relax as we dive into today's challenge. Here, we have a question which says x to the power, sorry, x equal to minus x to the power of x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over 2x. What would be the possible value of x from this expression? From here, let's take our solution. So we have here solution. Solution. We put down our equation, which says x equal to minus x all to the power of x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over 2x. Hmm. Now, if you look at this question very well, I cannot take the natural log of both sides, reason being that we are having a minus sign here. So, taking the natural log will not work out here. So, the number one thing I will do here is to divide both sides by minus x. So, from here, I'll say divide true by minus x. So, if I do that, this will give me x all over minus x equal to minus x to the power of x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over 2x all over minus x. Good. So from here, x will take care of x. On this side, we are now left with your minus 1 equal to, on this other side, yeah, the minus will take care of the minus. In the law of indices, this is a division sign and the basis are the same. Mind you, the power of x here, x1. So, we have a law which says that if we have a to the power of m, dividing a to the power of n, this will be a to the power of m minus n. In other words, subtract the powers so long the basis are the same. So if I apply that here, this expression will now become your x to the power of x squared minus 3x plus 4 all over 2x minus 1. Because the power of x at the denominator is minus, sorry, it's positive 1. So when it goes up, it turns to minus 1 from here so from here this is all of our invisible one okay so if we carry out the simplification here this we give us here minus one equal to here we're going to have x to the power of x squared minus three x plus four there minus 2x all over 2x so automatically this will give us minus 1 equal to x to the power of 2 minus minus 3s minus 2x will give us here yeah, minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x all right now again if you look at this, because of this minus 1, we cannot take the natural log of both sides. So the only thing we can do here hmm, is to take the absolute value of both sides. So from here, now say take absolute value. Absolute value of both sides. Of both sides. So if we do that, this is going to give us the absolute value of minus 1 equal to 
the absolute value of x to the power of x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x. Okay. Now, the absolute value of this, we take this guy off here. So, this will now give x here positive 1 equal to the absolute value of x to the power of x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x. We are almost there. Here, we cannot apply our natural log. So, if we take the natural log of both sides, this will now give us IN1 equal to the IN of the absolute value of x to the power of x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x. And in 1, we give us 0. If you push that in your calculator, so this will give us 0 equal to the IN absolute value of x to the power x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x. Okay. From here, from here, according to the law of log reading, okay, according to the law of log reading, this is a power law. Let me show you this. If you have log log m to the power of k base a, the law says that move this backward. So this will give us here k log m this a. So we have to apply this law here. So if we do that, this will now become 0 equal to, the power comes back, x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2 into the absolute value, sorry, uh, need the absolute value of x. All right. Okay, sorry. Here we have x here, 2x, okay? 2x here. Okay, from here, if we decide to multiply true by 2x, or now that we're having 0 on this other side, if we decide to divide by this. So let me put it down. Let's say divide true by x squared minus 5x plus 4 all over 2x. The whole of this is 0, so the whole of this will leave the system. Okay? So if we do that, this will give us 0 equal to the in of the absolute value of x. Very easy. So this implies that in of the absolute value of x equal to 0. Hmm. From here again, we can take the natural log, which is the special identity E, to eliminate this I N. Okay? So if we do that, this will now give us the E I N absolute value of X hmm, equal to the E naught. So from this expression, the E we take care of our log here. Okay, so E we take care of the log here. So we are now left with the absolute value of x equal to A naught will give us 1. So the absolute value, therefore, of our x, mm, x will give us here the plus minus 1. So therefore, x is equal to minus 1 and 1. QED. Okay. All right. So that is all for now. If you've gained value from this video thus far, give it a thumbs up. Okay. Give it a thumbs up or drop a comment in the comment section. I say thanks, Jay, for the wonderful work to encourage what else. Okay. People as we strike to um, gain a win win situation in this channel. All right. So if you are still new to this channel, you've not subscribed. Do yourself 
that great favor of subscribing so that you can get notified whenever we drop wonderful video like the one you just watched right now. Once again, this is Online Mass TV. Jake's loves you. Online Mass TV loves you. Stay blessed till we meet again. Bye for now.